views expressed in the videos are my observation, analysis of events, persons based on principles of astrology. It's not my intent to predict, forecast absolute outcomes, only suggest how they may unfold. Nothing is set in stone. I could be wrong, but often I'm right. My desire is not to promote fear, only inform about what we see unfolding. It is our wish to prepare our subscribers for events that could affect them, their family, their goals, and their future, to help to prepare for what you may already feel suspect is happening, and to send a warning shot across the bow and raise a flag of concern. Our goal is to help, not hinder, in these perilous times, to inspire and offer possible direction, and to reveal that a greater plan and purpose are behind all that is happening. Eventually, we will see a brighter day. If you would like to show your appreciation for our work on these videos or this channel, and also the Knowing Whispers channel, you can always click on the word thanks at the bottom of all the videos. Hello everybody, it's Robert Cosmar, the Astrology of Life YouTube channel, the Knowing Whispers YouTube channel, and also the Astrology Network on YouTube. Well, it's been another day of interesting things in computer land. This is the second time I'm going to be doing this particular video uh, because my computer all of a sudden decided it didn't want to work the way that it's supposed to. So, just to give you kind of a hint as to what I go through to do these videos. If it isn't my brain, you know, it's something with my computer, my mouse, my video card or whatever. But anyhow, this is the video that I promised you on the midterms, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I'm going to be discussing all of those factors and talking about Donald Trump, talking about the chart of the midterms on November the 8th, 2022, other factors that are going to enter in moving forward between now and 2024, and the current circumstances that we see going on you know, right now as it pertains to this very slow developing process of whether or not the Republicans and Democrats, who's going to get the Senate, and in fact has the Republican Party taken over the House. We don't know that absolutely yet, but I feel you can go back to the chart of the midterms, and this is November the 8th, 2022, and this was set for 12 p.m. I used 12 p.m. because there really was no way of knowing exactly what would be the best chart to use. But in a past video that I did on this particular day, I pointed out the fact that we had hard aspects here from Saturn and Uranus. Okay? And essentially with those aspects particularly coming from Saturn because Saturn uh, is a planet that rules the Democratic Party my expectation was that things would not fare well for the Democratic Party going into the midterms and that seemed to be holding up the Uranus of course aspect in there could also indicate there could be some surprises I think there were some surprises from the standpoint that uh, democracy performed better than what a lot of folks believed that it would and uh, of course you know from the standpoint of the Republicans and their attempt to try to sell this idea of a red wave that didn't manifest okay much to the joy and satisfaction of um, those of us who love democracy and believe that that's a better form of government but as this chart revealed with these aspects, particularly the squares of Saturn here, the sense that I had was that it would not go totally, completely well for the Democratic Party. And at this point, that seems to be the case. The fact that it's taken so long for this to come to a point of clarity, again, it's another Saturn attribute, you know, so uh, it's pretty much up to form uh, what we, we expected. Now, one of the things that I would say as a caution for those of you that are my subscribers and members of this because there is a sense here at this particular moment that democracy has been saved that Donald Trump is you know on his last leg that type of thing all right that we can kind of just relax and go back to norm I would caution against that okay we are nowhere near going back to any norm 
okay uh, in fact I do feel that you'll find out probably here as, as early as Tuesday of this next week I believe it's Tuesday that Trump said he had a special announcement and some of the reports are within his inner circle that he's going to announce running for president in 2024 it would make sense that this distraction would be the direction that Donald Trump would want to go he has you know an impending doom of legal factors you know going against him multiple multiple lawsuits um, his own party right now is starting to doubt him okay uh, the sense of potential violence you know that had been building over the last couple of months or so has not manifested up to this point even though I suspect that when the Republicans or Democrats are, are sworn in in January we may see some aggressive energy at that particular point some kind of resistance that may tie into the rhetoric and the energy Donald Trump has to keep the fear growing okay if these types of individuals don't keep the fear growing they can't control the energy of what potentially could evolve and manifest into okay he has to keep the fear going so he's probably going to say I'm running for president and then he'll spew more lies and he'll say how bad he's being treated you know he has filed a lawsuit against the January 6th committee because he doesn't want to uh, honor the subpoena that they have put out there to have him come in to testify um, he's got a world of hurt you know from a physical sense when you take a look at his his life his business his fortunes and stuff um, and uh, it looks like okay a reasonable person would say this guy's cooked all right but over the last several years we know that Donald Trump is not a person that just simply fades off into the you know into the unknown he's still here he's still uh, creating problems he's still poking the bear so to speak and um, we have to be consciously aware of more than just what our hopes wishes and our emotions are trying to convey to us okay so again this particular chart with Saturn and Uranus afflicting the Sun the moon Mercury and Venus uh, all kind of indicators that for the Democratic Party because it's ruled by Saturn might have a hard time with this particular election the energy surrounding this election all right now let's go forward here and take a look at Donald Trump's Vedic horoscope okay and of course I've done many videos on his Vedic chart talking about how really how powerful it is how wealth is a strong factor in it okay how his ability to uh, seemingly skirt you know the, the legal uh, factors but yet also this chart reveals uh, loss okay it reveals the fact that uh, he is and has been suffering for quite some time because of the way he is because of what he's trying to do um, but then again he's still in the game all right and uh, a lot of why that is has to do with this concept of karma okay to understand the future whether it's your personal future or whether it's the future of the country or the future of Donald Trump you have to entertain the concept of karma okay you have to put your emotional feelings off to the side you have to put your logic and reasoning off to the side and you have to entertain the thought and the possibility that these particular events and this particular person okay is foredained or fated all right to be able to do what they're doing because this is where we karmically find ourselves at this time in the evolution of humanity and the evolution of the United States of America okay as I mentioned on previous video Donald Trump is in his Jupiter Dasa so is his son Don jr. Jupiter Dasas are like a protective influence in many cases not always because you could have another combination here where a planet is not exalted it is in its fall and stuff like that and and the end result is not 
you know what you would expect it to be transits over here in this right hand chart impact what is going on in this chart the natal chart donald trump has saturn in his sixth house okay and a sign that it rules this is a sign that has to do with health or a house that has to do with health lawsuits all right things of this nature you see the enormous amount of lawsuits that are against him okay it's why he is assaulted okay uh, again the fact that it's in Cam or Capricorn also gives an indication as to why things are not you know closing in as severely as you might think that they should now probably within the next year or so Saturn is going to go from the sixth house into the seventh house this is the house of marriage it's the house of business partnerships it's the house essentially of others okay all others the public would be thrown into that okay one of the things that's offsetting what's going on with him in terms of the financial aspect of things is that Jupiter right now is transiting in his eighth house okay in a sign that it rules this is the house of other people's money it's the house of uh, you know factors taxes you know insurance and things like that so you can see here that the charts really not only reveal the life theme of the person but it also has to do with what is currently happening right now and when Saturn goes into the seventh house you'll probably see things come more concretely to a legal you know encounter with Donald Trump the fact that it isn't a sign that it rules helps but it does not prevent him from coming to some form of justice we also have to take into consideration that Jupiter will go into the house where it essentially rules which is the ninth house the most fortunate house in the Vedic system okay my inclination to think or to feel about Donald Trump is is that he will be diverting people's attention away from his problems by running for president on the one hand but he will be going through okay he will be going through a lot of assaults upon him judicially but that he will somehow find a way because Jupiter is in the ninth house of getting off what we would emotionally like to see happen okay or what we feel should happen All right. um, so again for those that you know maybe wanting to say I want to wash my hands and move beyond this I'm tired of Donald Trump I'm tired of you know all this drama going on I unfortunately have to tell you that it really hasn't and isn't going to go away this law right now this hope of returning to normalcy probably won't last very long Joe Biden has Saturn okay he's in the Saturn DASA um, we can probably expect a lot of uh, unpleasant things to be coming his way politically possibly legally issues with his son keep being brought forward so there are a lot of things that are going on you know right now to kind of summarize the title for this particular video the midterm 2022 the good the bad and the ugly the good is is that the MAGA wave is not as vast as people thought it was that's the good the bad has to do with the simple fact that Donald Trump is still in the news he's still creating problems he's still affecting the lives of really everyone okay and the ugly really is yet to be known we'll know more about the ugly when Donald Trump decides to say I'm running for president and we see all the things that are going on judicially and legally what happens uh, with the um, House of Representatives what they choose to do if the Republicans actually do win and take over that part of things um, so we're still in a mess okay we're in a mess and the resolution to this mess is not going to come politically okay 
for those of you that watch my videos and that are awake or awakening you know there is a transformation process going on and that transformation process simply states that the world that we have known and believed in and lived in for the last you know 40 50 60 70 years is going through a massive karmic adjustment and we need to make those karmic adjustments ourselves to be able to wade through the water so to speak of what is going to be coming down the road for us okay i hope i conveyed the good the bad and the ugly here for you in both this chart and the other chart to explain why things have evolved to this point and what could occur as a result of of what um you know is going on uh, i want to mention again for those of you that have been watching my videos recently uh, I had to deactivate my old Facebook account and create a new one. So, there is a new Robert Cosmar Astrologer profile on Facebook. There is a new Knowing Whispers Messages from the Universe group. And there is a new Knowing Whispers page over there. And I would like to invite you to join us over there. If you want to keep apprised of what is happening from the standpoint of our evolution, our spiritual growth and awakening, and what the universe is planning, what it is doing, and how we can support and help each other through this process. So go over to Facebook, okay, if you want to get some nurturing, if you want to get some support, if you want to get a sense of, of um, you're not alone in what's going on, we do provide that over there particularly in the group knowing whispers messages from the universe and we'd like to have you to join us over there okay thank you again for those of you that are members and subscribers for your support thank you for those that make donations on a monthly basis it is deeply appreciated and very helpful and uh, yes we did survive the second hurricane and it did come close again it's like both of them this year came close to us it was not you know not without its moments but um, again uh, stay safe uh, look within and uh, stay with us because we have a lot of stuff to share with you as time moves forward all right from the love of my life CJ my spiritual partner and from Toby our our fur angel we thank you and we look forward to uh, hearing from you or if you get a chance to share the video if you want to comment we like to hear your comments uh, it's very healing to be able to open your heart and to be able to talk about these things okay take care